All right, welcome back. Our statement today reads, find the magnetic field at the point P for each of the steady current configurations shown in the diagram. Hey, look at the diagram. Uh, for A, we have the point centered, um, and then we have two quarter circles, uh, one with radius A, one with radius B, where A is less than B, and then uh, two uh, line segments that connect them. Um, and then for B, we have a half circle on the left-hand side, followed by two half line segments. All right, so what we should know is the field of a line and the field of a circular loop, as same as last question. All right, so for part A, the two straight line segments produce no field there at P, um, and but the quarter circles yield um, the field as follows. Um, we're modifying the field of a loop by multiplying it by four and putting in the respective radii. Again, the field is in the same plane as the current carrying loop, so we have um, the uh, separation distance S equals zero. Uh, and then note that when we do the right-hand rule for radius B, that goes uh, into the page, the field goes into the page at P, but for at radius A, the field goes out of the page at P. All right, so we'll simplify it down you see that uh, the b squared times 3 halves power just leaves you with b cubed. The 4 and the 2 combine to give us uh, a denominator of 8. Um, and then the b squared and the numerator cancel with the b cubed. Um, so we see that here in the second line of math. We factor out a, a mu naught i over 8. And we're left with 1 over b uh, with the direction of into the page plus 1 over a with the direction of out of the page. Let's note that since A's radius was less than B, since this inverse relationship is what we're analyzing here, that's the same as saying that A, uh, 1 over A is greater than 1 over B. So we're going to write this in terms of the more dominant term, which is 1 over A. So that's why you see that the 1 over B goes to negative uh, in front, but we reverse the direction since that's what the resultant field vector would be. And so uh, after that, we simplify down, and we have b equal mu naught i over 8 times 1 over a minus 1 over b with the direction pointing out of the page. All right, so similarly for b, we'll modify previous results and add them together. Thank you, superposition. Uh, so the two straight half infinite line segments is the same as just one infinite. So 2 plus 1 half equals 1. That's the idea there. So we'll just modify the uh, line segment and uh, put the infinite points at theta equal pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. Um, so we see the same kind of odd characteristic of sine. And uh, so we just combine them to 2, sine pi over 2, which cancels to 1. And we're left with uh, the segments of line adding up to mu naught i over 2 pi r. Um, again, the direction via the right-hand rule is into the page at P. Um, so now we have to deal with the half circle, which again, take half of the loop magnetic field from before. It's in the same plane, so the separation distance S is zero. And we get similar cancellations, so we're left with mu naught I over 4R. Again, the same direction into the page at P. So then the total is just the addition of these two segments. They're in the same direction, so that's easy to maneuver. Um, for the sake of being able to uh, factor out a mu naught i over 4r, we multiply the um, the line segment by 2, and that's why we get 2 over pi, and then plus 1 for just a loop. And uh, that'll conclude this.